Now till now we were dealing with point charges, right? We were dealing with point charges and and the formulas that we developed, we, whether it be the formula for force between the two, force between the two charges. So, so Coulomb's law, Coulomb's law, or maybe the electric field that always assumed a that always assumed a point charge <clears throat> right and the field was something like this hmm? say q upon r square r cap correct this was the field fine now it could so happen that you take a charge and smear it all over a, a wire you understand you spread it L like a, like a like a paint brush you 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 spread it over the length of the wire correct so so that is called the line charge okay line charge so this is the line charge so what happens maybe you take say take a wire and and smear the charge spread the charge all over it so you do not have a single point charge but so many charges spread over a length now how much charge has been spread per unit length that is what is called the linear density okay the linear charge density so so what will it be it is denoted by lambda and is given by q upon l if q amount of charge is spread over the q is the total charge over the length L and L is the length of the wire over which the charge is spread. Okay? Over which the charge is spread. Now it may so happen that the that the charge spread in this area is maybe more than in, in, in this length maybe is maybe more than this length, which may be less than this length. You know? So what we said is for a uniform charge density, uniformly distributed charge. You understand what we mean? uniformly distributed charge understand what if it is a non-uniform charge then what do we do maybe maybe if it changes then what happens we take a small small kind of thing and small length say delta l find there is a charge delta q over it so we start defining lambda as delta Q upon delta L, L. If it, if it varies from one part to another. So in the part in which it is uniform, we take it as this. Maybe then, then here the lambda is something else and then the lambda is something else. Once you understand that, then what we do is, what we do is, say, let us say it is all uniform let's it's all uniform okay so what we do we take we take such a small length delta l we take a we take such a small a length delta l delta l such that such that it becomes a point charge 
it's so small in length, so small in length that it looks like a point. Yeah, in the limit we'll take it to infinitesimally small. So, so over a very small or infinitesimal length delta L, we have a charge of we have a charge of Q is equal to how much? Lambda times delta L. We get the point? This. Okay. Now due to this, due to this charge, because now it becomes a point charge, Suppose I am I'm finding out a, I am finding out the field here. This is at currently at a distance. Uh, this this vector is r. So what do I do? So e is equal to rather d e is equal to is equal to lambda delta l. That is the charge. One upon four pi epsilon naught. Instead of q, I am writing lambda delta l upon r square into r cap okay when you need to sum it up you you want to find out the total total field so what you do you integrate this you sum it up and while summing it up it this the the infinitesimal actually becomes dl upon r square into dq is lambda dl no why do we write q where here we are getting q is lambda d, uh, delta l yeah that's fine i'm not dq lambda yes that small charge that's but here i'll have to write delta q mm -hmm. i cannot write it mm -hmm. hmm? i cannot write it dq when this is del l right so, so it's that lambda dl upon r square into r cap. Understand? So, for this you'll have to integrate it over the over the length over the whole curve which is creating a field out there okay and this will require a, a, some integration and and i'll physically do that at one point of time when we have discussed the gauss's law then for a limited length of wire i'll actually be doing that fine so so this is how you tackle a line charge a continuous distribution of a line charge right